What about the royal family? Are they worth the money? The king will get a more than 50% increase to his income, which equates to a pay rise of £46 million. As the sovereign grant is set to increase to £132 million. All right, that needs a bit of explaining, doesn't it? So let's head over here and meet the king and queen and just start to look at this whole business of, I guess, in summary, we're looking at royal money here, aren't we? This is all about royal money. And when you think, people think, oh, they live in these sumptuous, wonderfully resplendent situations, but palaces cost a lot. And they have to pay to have them maintained. I mean, it's a beautiful building. So back to them and back to this system, the crown estate system, okay? So, so essentially the crown owns, although it's property of the nation, the crown estate, profits go to the treasury, to the government. They then give up to a quarter of it back to the royals as the sovereign grant. So the money comes back to the king and queen and the royal family. Now, you are saying to yourself, that, that's, that's all very well. That's fine. They're generating income and they're using it. And they've talked about how they're going to use it. We'll come to that. The king also has income from a private estate called the Duchy of Lancaster. Think about the biscuits. So that's passed down from monarch to monarch. He owns Sandringham and Balmoral privately. With the new money they've got, they need some green helicopters, whatever they are. They're going to make their Bentleys run on biofuel and they're going to switch on the lanterns outside Buckingham Palace, which were gas. And they're going to have a continued, big one here, continued refurb, rebuild of Buckingham Palace. So maybe we could all say, well, you've got to do that. Nobody wants an abandoned, smoking ruin of a palace, do they? So we want them to be able to have the money to repair their palaces. This is the issue. This is the seabed. Amazingly, part of the Crown Estate is the seabed alongside their huge properties, chiefly in Scotland. It's very valuable now because people want offshore wind power on the seabed. So in the last year, through auctioning licenses to plant on the seabed, they made 1.1 billion pounds. And that means on the formula we use for the Crown Estate and the Sovereign Grant, their profits, the money they get back, goes from 86 million to 132 million. Now, if, if you're looking at this in a really sort of cutting way, you say, wait, this money's passed through the Treasury. Why are we giving them so much back? And that's the question, Narinda, isn't it? They're getting a lot back. Uh, you know what? I'm absolutely furious about this. And oh, I know James is going to come at me with this. But why are we paying? The simple question is, you can go through figures. You can put this figure out there. You can put that fact out there. And I know you're going to do that, James. But the fact is, this is an extremely rich family, extremely rich. And you stood there, Jeremy, talking about, oh, we don't want an abandoned palace. What we don't want is children going to school hungry. What we don't want is people unable to pay their rent. I don't really care about a king who's really rich and that I've still, as a struggling taxpayer, having to pay for. Hmm. Why are we paying for a rich family? Yeah, it's well, James, that's question. the big issue. Why are we giving them they're that much so money? They're so rich and they're so irrelevant these days. Um, I'm fascinated by your view, uh, but I have to take issue with it. Okay. I think it shows a total lack of understanding as to how and why we have a monarchy. Now, if you want to go at the monarchy and say, is it right for somebody to be born into something, I would say it's probably not. And it's I not think democratic. That it's not particularly democratic, but you are always going to have to have a system of a head of state. And you could say, oh, but well, maybe it's about the money. It is about money, it's but it's whether also. They need that much money. It's, but you see, the thing is that the Crown Estate. The whole deal, when you talk about the Crown Estate, is actually the government's property company. And the reason... Just, see, that's been debunked, by It the hasn't way. been debunked. That has been I'm sorry. debunked I'm, by no, Republic. No, 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 no. It really hasn't. It's that's... owned by the king, actually. No, it isn't. It is. I'm sorry. What, what, the money's really... still coming from taxpayers no, 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 either no, way. It's not. It doesn't really matter. It's it not. sits there. It may be ours. Yes. It may be the king's. So, he farms yeah, it. Yeah, but you have to... Yeah, no, no, no. You have to look at the deal. So the deal that was mm. done is that the king and the monarchy owned a whole load of land. They did a deal. They gave that property to the government and in return for the sovereign grant. Oh, now, isn't the sovereign that grant... lovely of the king no. to give it back no, no, no. And, and own all this land no. and own all these oh, jewels? Oh, you do and... talk nonsense. The whole... Put a sock in Come it. On, oh. Come on, go on, James. Just get to Genuinely, the end. Genuinely, yeah. here's the point. The money is there to run the monarchy. It's to run the system. So I don't care whether you've got a... The, we don't need the monarchy right. to be That's run. Well, there's a 65% the of the public... The issue is this, right? Not the younger generation, actually. Yes, Narinda, let's say you're looking at a bucket bus. By the way, I had a guy install uh, you know, like a satellite dish about 20 years ago. And it, I thought he was having a nervous breakdown. And I said, have you been on a difficult job? He said, yeah, I've been on uh, sorting out Buckingham Palace. Don't. And he said, it's a nightmare. <laughs> he said, it's a nightmare in there. He said, he said y you're trying to wire 
a building with 775 rooms. Can you imagine? That's you why going... it should become right. a museum. Well, look, there's it the is. thing. It should do become... you maintain it or do you let it go to rack and smoke in ruin? It won't go to... I don't really care. I think we you should put care. that money to... So we just say, so, all right, well, fine. A king is supposed to look after his, you fine. know, his citizens, not, not the other way around. Well, then maybe it that's a good... We just say, look... It's not your money. We say to... to... It's certainly not his money either because they've got a lot of private wealth. It's very it's... sketchy. But that the is whole, used as an office. The whole money situation with the royal family is very sketchy. It's not transparent. And actually, I'm not going to be a fool any longer. They're very rich. I'm happy for what them. What do you mean you're not going to be a fool this? any longer? You've managed all your life so far. How about this? How about this? Why don't we do a voluntary scheme? Look, if you love the royal family, seriously, if you look, money I, that. I happen to be a trustee of a uh, of a charity that uses or has the royal family as their patron. I can tell you the amount of work that they do and the difference that it makes to that charity to have that royal patronage. Mm. And I would much rather have that than I would somebody elected into a role that may or may not be of interest, may or may not help, may or may not... France are doing pretty well with that royal family. Oh, now really? They're bringing That's in true. a lot oh, more really? tourism. Well, well, thank you yes. for just destroying your yes. argument, no, because they've wouldn't. ruined it. Well, France has have been, have been struggling lately. I don't know whether that's the lack of a king. I'm lately? Not sure, but the... No, well, they want to get upset about something, just burn everything in so. Well, look, they've done. They're, they're laughing at us as well, by the yes. way. So we're they're also, really not. But they listen, are. the the Crown Estate is owned by, not by the royal family. Just I'm just mm -hmm. you're, like you said, it's, it's owned by the, by the state, by the government. Yeah. So it's it's. Uh, I know you said that. Well, debugged. Republic, <laughs> I need to know. Uh, or they will well, change well, well, together. It doesn't. Do you know what? This. If you live in a house and someone says you're you're you, you know the government owns your house, but you can stay there, it doesn't really matter. The ownership doesn't really matter. The issue is, uh, the the amount of money we give back to them. From the money that they raise from having the estate, it used to be. That doesn't it used even to be. include their security costs. The security well, it's, this, costs it's these auctions separate. in the. Then we're back to the seabed. Yes. they've auctioned these seabed things. Maybe you say, look, I'm sorry, that's a windfall. That's not natural income. Which is why we want it. Yes, but which is why they reduced the sovereign grant from 25% of the profits down to 12%. Mm. But because now it's gone to 50% increase, and we've gotten a cost yeah. of living yeah. crisis. No, no, People well, that's are it. struggling. That's it. It's gone up, but they've they say it's gone up because we agree. Because what? Because some of that grant is to pay for the refurbishment okay, of Buckingham right. Palace, We've which is some. open now more Got than ever before. Got it. But they'll always they don't be even live there. There'll always be something. We oh, all shit. know. Once they've done Buckingham Palace, they're going to find a flat tire on the on the yes. front Bentley or something. Callum in Edinburgh. Hi. Oh, Hello. Callum. Oh, blimey, that was a delay. How are you, Callum? Yes. Yes, I'm good, uh, uh, Jeremy. Well yeah, done. I enjoy your show, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, yes, lively today, my God. Especially when you're on it. Right. Well, that's, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm His got, name is on the door. <laughs> well, I am, I am glad about that. I, I am for the trimmed-down royal family. Slim it. But I think this increase is obscene. Yeah. 53% uh. for the palace 700 rooms... And if you were charged a lot of money to go and go around, go around them, and even up in Balmoral, it's up to a hundred pound. Is this to go in? That that it's is sold out. Disgusting. Well, I saw. I, well, I, who was it? Where's he got his lovely garden? Somebody I know went and saw the King's Garden in not Windsor, but they said it was worth every penny. Oh, hundred pounds! They said, and the gardener was walking around telling stories about the King. Oh, oh yeah, no, Freddie can't, Freddie can't pay for that. But well, you don't and actually get to meet the King. No, I mean, right. Well, well, so this is the tourist. All right. Argument. Well, then, well, then you throw the King in yeah. as well. You get more. <laughs> Thank you, Callum, very much, and thanks for watching. Stephen in Staffordshire. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey, have you got this horrible cold? I've got this cold today. Have you got it today, Stephen? Uh, I think I have, actually. Yeah, well, we're worried it's spreading through the show. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? Well, I do support the royal family. I do think they do uh, an awful lot of good, charity work-wise. They bring in an awful lot of re re revenue through tourists. But the biggest point I want to make is that the auction of the seabeds for the wind farms... The first thing that the king did when he came to, came onto the throne was he gave that one billion pounds back to the state for the good of the state. Yes, but it does it does count into the formula of the money well, he returned. Do he's already given it back. 
So is that the case, James? Yes, yeah, so what he did was he did make that statement, and you're absolutely right to pick it up, is that he, he wanted the formula to be changed because he said, genuinely, I want to see more money go back into this, uh, into the country, to, to make sure that the, the coffers or the royal family doesn't receive more than it needs. Because yeah. there's a difference between personal wealth and what they spend on their personal lives. And I can understand, look, very wealthy... Yeah, but is, is Stephen right in saying that, um, that, that, that he said, look, this auction money goes to the government and we don't want any of it. Yes. Because that's not my... My understanding is that, that is counted as... That doesn't make him good. He doesn't as... even pay his inheritance tax. Oh, no, but it does, it does make him a yes, good person. The, he doesn't it? pay what his does... inheritance tax. No. He's just... He's just didn't pay then. It's... He's given back yes, there. Yes, but it's, it's the same for anybody. His part, it's... Nothing's come out of his pocket, it's, though, has it? It's it's, it's, the, it's not... A, you've got to look at the institution versus the individual. Got... And there is, there is absolutely an argument for making for sure that the individual plays by the same rules in terms of how they pass their money. But the, the song grant went from 25 to 12%, which is basically giving back a huge chunk of money. Mm. Uh, again, if there is more money going into it, but the institution, they employ hundreds of people. So the the palaces that... are very expensive if... to run. It doesn't go into their pocket. It's not clear to me whether he's taking the 1.1 billion from the auctions and saying, for, that's not the Crown Estate, that's government money goes straight in, or whether it's rolled up into the Crown Estate money and the formula is applied. Right. Whatever. Uh, I mean, that's an important distinction. Mm. But it, it's still about whether the 50% rise is justified or you think not. That's, that's I it. I don't think it is. Okay. But, it's, but it's there to deal with a very specific problem. That a Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Palace has been under I think they're tone deaf. They well, are why, tone deaf. Why not say, James, for example, could you please repair the Palace of Westminster as well? Because that's the palace. So that's the House of Commons, House of Lords falling down. Rats, but but Lots that will be paid rats for, in there. basically out of the Crown Estate. That's where they're going to the get the Palace money of from. Westminster. No, 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 no. Thank you, Stephen, very much. It's a very important correction you give. Although I'm not, I'm still not clear on whether it's completely out with the calculation, the the auction, the seabed. Janice in Norfolk. Hi. Hello. You've probably got a bit of seabed near you, Janice. Have you? Yes, I have. Yeah. How's it looking? Uh, polluted. Oh, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Oh, Janice. What do you think about this? Is, is Narinda right that they just don't need this money? I don't think so. Uh, as I said to your, your lady on the phone, oh, yeah. um, I'm nearly 80, darling. I, I've lived with the Royals a long time and I don't see them doing much for the Joe Bloggs in the street. Mm. Um, they're totally re removed. We. What about Princess uh, Anne? I don't think trooper. that the normal person realises that they, they paid for, what was it, five weddings, five funerals, mm. all the displays that go on. Yeah. Um, but, yes, all right, they bring in the tourists, but I don't think one over, over Janice, the other. All right. Sorry, Janice, can I just ask you, though? So when there's a royal wedding and it gets coverage all over the world and makes people make the decision to come to the UK, <sighs> do you not think that's a good investment of money? It's only to London. Not really, because it only benefits the hotels. In London? Mm. She's what? right. Okay, it's only Janice. benefiting London. No, it's not it's helping not. Newcastle. Yeah. It is, but because people really. come here and they, well, they pay tax. They're not going to Newcastle to go well, and see the wedding. Well, they should have maybe had it in a, in a, somewhere in Newcastle, in a yeah. different, different venue. No one's Thank better. you, Janice. Later is the...